everybody. This is Christy Robinette of TangledWishes.com. I hope that you're doing great on this January 11th, 2011. I wanted to talk a little bit today about money and how you feel about money. Um, with being inundated with the news and the media and um, even seeing our neighbors and our friends and family going through difficult times these past few years, a lot of people have been very fearful of money and if they'll survive, if they will continue to have a job or if they'll be able to get a job. And the fear that we have is exactly what we're attracting. It's more fear. There is something called the law of attraction, which I know a lot of people became familiar with when The Secret came out and Oprah began to help spiral that out into the, into the media that if you think it, then you will start um, attracting that same thing, whether it's negative or positive. And for the most part, I do believe in the law of attraction. I do believe that if you think you can do it, you can. If you believe that you will get this, you will. But a lot of times it's the past that sort of destroys that from happening. It's those thoughts that that devil on the shoulder that says you're not worthy enough, you're not talented enough, you can't start that business. How are you going to do that? And we have to start learning how to unprogram those thoughts from our mind so that we can attract exactly what we do want and not what we don't want. So when it comes to money, what do you think of? Are you fearful of not receiving or do you think it's easy? I know how to make money. I can do it with the snap of my fingers. Money is just paper. It has not, or material, actually, it's not even paper, but it has nothing to do with, um, you know, the stress and anxiety and fear. If you're thinking that you can always attract money, you always will be. But I'm telling you that probably the majority of you are so afraid of money. So there's a couple different exercises that I want to share with you that I learned from several different mentors over the years. The first one is take a virtual checkbook and put a thousand dollars in it the first day and then spend that thousand dollars. You can't save it. You can't put it aside or put it into um, a college fund. You have to actually spend that money. And then the next day, double that. So you'd have $2,000 to spend. And then the next day, you'd have $4,000 to spend. And the more that you work on dreaming about what you would do with that money, the more that the fear of having that money will start to disappear. And little by little, you won't feel like it holds control over you. The other exercise to do is to take a $20 bill or a $50 bill or a $100 bill and put it in your wallet and constantly keep it in your wallet. Don't spend it. Just know that you always will have money in your wallet. Sounds really simple, doesn't it? But how many times have you said, I'm sorry, I'm broke? Don't have anything? You won't be able to say that if you have that $20 in your wallet, will you? Because you'll constantly have that $20. No, no, you can't spend it. But... You can't say you're broke because you won't be. So you can't then plant that seed that you are broke. Therefore, you want to be broke. Therefore, you will continue to be broke. So that's something that I never have liked to say in my household at all. I, I've never said we can't afford it. I'll word it differently. Like maybe we need to look at the finances again next week. And that feels so much more positive than we're broke. So watch the wording that you have with regards to money. Start playing those exercises. Put that $20 in your wallet. And don't be afraid that you have to spend that because I know that that's what you're thinking. And start believing that you're worthy of receiving money. And watch it come. Have a great day.